the point here is that, you know, be careful. Be careful when you interpret the data in these tests to ensure that the tests were done well, because they're not done that well all the time in the field. Sometimes, you know, like I've plotted this very kind of smooth curve in the previous plots. I mean, a lot of times, you know, it's really just maybe six or seven points. Well, a lot can happen in between those six or seven po distinct points. Uh, especially, you know, and then other times the pressures, remember the pressures are measured, I guess I should have mentioned, in all cases that all these plots we've talked about, the pressures we're talking about are measured at the surface. So you, you have to add in, to get the uh, principal stress correct, you have to add in the head pressure associated with the column of water that's in the well, right? Or the column of fluid, not just water, but the column of fluid that's in the well. So you have to add in that head pressure. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when these tests are done, these pressure measurements, I mean, at the most crude, in the most crude way, can be read off a gauge, you know, that's bouncing around at the surface, right? So while we plot these really smooth curves, you know, in reality, keep in mind that a lot of these tests can be done with literally someone standing there watching a pressure gauge bounce around and at one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, writing down the pressure. Well, that's, that's obviously not the best way to do it. Uh, you know, if you have actual downhole measurements, um, you know, some logging system in the, in the bottom hole assembly, then you're going to get much more accurate readings from it. So, you know, be careful. And the reason is, uh, particularly if you're leading up to stimulate, uh, to wanting to do some stimulation with hydraulic fracturing, it's important that you don't um, mistake you know, so what I say here is when the vertical, when the um, minimum principal stress is close to the vertical stress, make sure you take great care in interpreting your data and integrate your density laws. So we typically just compute the vertical stress, you know, from uh, from a, a guesstimate, right? Or, or you know, use one psi per foot, right? But if the if your guesstimate is on the order of what you're seeing in your mini frag tests, then it's important to look into it in more detail because what this will mean in a stimulation event, it could mean the difference in your fractures growing horizontally or growing vertically, right? If your minimum stress, your minimum principal stress is the vertical stress, then your fractures are going to initiate at the well bore, you know, at the top and bottom, but then they're going to turn and they're going to grow horizontally. They're, they're going to initiate at the top and the bottom because of the stress concentrations, but they're going to turn and they're going to grow, uh, you know, in a plane that's, that's parallel to the surface of the earth, right, which could or could not be desirable. But it's just important that you understand that. So uh, this plot actually shows that. This is um, the, the, the white, <coughs> the white values are several, um, S, the, you know, S3 measurements from uh, leak-off tests. And, and one thing to notice is that they are pretty consistent. So if you look up here uh, in this region, the, the, you know, they're not wildly, they're not wildly scattered. They're, they're pretty consistent. And so, you know, you can have some confidence that these are a pretty real um, evaluation of the minimum principal stress. And they're very, very close to the vertical stress as measured from the actual density log. So not just one psi per foot or just some guess, right? Uh, and you can you can tell that because it's not just a straight line; it's a curve. So these were integrated from the density log, density logs, and in this case, they're very close to one another. So it's very important to uh, in this in this scenario to, to watch out. <coughs> 